Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, welcome to another update on my remote control car build. And today we're going to be looking at the fuel tank and specifically the fuel line. Now when I pulled apart the chainsaw engine, this black tube was what they were using. And uh, it's gone pretty stiff after a long while. Um, and being exposed to petrol tends to stuff up a lot of kinds of rubber. I think this is either polyurethane or vinyl. This is what I got when I asked for fuel line at, uh, at Repco. Uh, whether it is, you know, commonly used for fuel line or not, I don't know. But it goes pretty stiff, and particularly on the inside, it goes very stiff. And especially around the fittings when you've got the filter jammed into the pipe here. Uh, it tends to get pretty crusty around there and anyway so I heard that uh, silicon fuel line is a lot better now silicon fuel line is really expensive um, I went to Autobahn and they sell three meters of it for $50 which is a bit ridiculous so I thought well you know silicon rubber is silicon rubber how hard could it be and a preliminary test was really successful. Check this out. I have created a silicon rubber fuel hose. And it seems to be pretty good. It's got a hole all the way through. It's a bit fat. Um, I'm going to attempt to make a skinnier one in this video. And this one's going to be transparent. So I'll be able to see whether the hole goes all the way through. All you need for this is some boiling water some silicon, a bit of hydrogen peroxide apparently catalyzes the reaction, although honestly last time I didn't try it without the peroxide, so I don't know whether it's necessary, but it's very cheap. So we'll put some peroxide in the boiling water, and then we're basically going to put it through an extrusion mold, and I'll show you how I'm gonna build the extrusion mold. So this is gonna involve drilling two holes, one down here like this, down there like that. Alrighty, so now we've got two holes at right angles which intersect with each other. Now we just need to get a nail to sit nicely in one of them. Oh dear, I don't think this, this truck can't hold it. Damn it, hang on. We'll resort to the hand drill here. It's really deep in there. So hold it in the tip. There we go. I can just tap that nail down in there. So let's get the head off. We'll just use the big snippy snips. And before I install the nail, the last thing I'm gonna do is just um, nice and shiny. And now we'll just bang it in the top there. There we go. Yep. Extrusion tool is complete. A bit of hot water. Hopefully that's not too hot for the ice cream container. And a bit of the peroxide. No idea how much it needs. I guess if it's a catalyst, it shouldn't need very much, right? And a here we go. All right, looks good. I'll scrape the first part off on the basis that that's how I did it last time. Yeah, so we've got a bit of tube coming out there. Let's see if we can keep it going. I think it's got to be pretty low down so that there's not too much tension on it. I'll just try and make like a coil in here without it touching itself, hopefully. 
still seems to be good. I think we'll stop it there. And the end of it obviously doesn't look very hollow. Hopefully. Unfortunately, this is a single use casting die. The, uh, the stuff itself dissolves in terps, but last time I tried to clean the other one, it just made a disastrous mess and the silicon stayed well and truly stuck inside there. So on the basis that the mold isn't reusable, I just made another one. In case the first one worked, because then it would be disappointing because I'd have to make another mold to get a second one. And well, this whole thing cost, what, seven bucks? And this was the expensive stuff. If you're curious, by the way, this is the uh, roof and gutter silicon. Uh, the neutral cure. Oh, he's dropped his guts. He's had a bit of an accident. Chucked a bit of a, a bit of a gooey out the back. Oh, that's gross. Oh, oh. I'd say that's probably caused by the extra pressure that I had to use to force it through the die. Not sure, but yeah, not designed for that level of pressure. The other cheap stuff I got from Bunnings uh, didn't do that. You can see that there's a bunch of bubbles formed on it. There it is, some of it's starting to float. Alrighty, it's been about 10-15 uh, minutes. I've got some brighter lights on here. A uh, big tungsten bulb. So hopefully this makes for better footage and easier focusing. Yeah, it seems to be working on the focusing. Maybe. Anyway. You can see that it's pretty much cured in the outer layer. And I think that's to do with the peroxide or maybe the boiling water. It's quite hard to know. So here it is, nowhere near fully cured, but I thought I'd take it out and do a sort of preliminary inspection. One end of it is a bit munted. Let's cut that off. There we go. There's a hole there and a hole there. Let me blow on one end. Ah, there we go. Yep, fully connected. Looks pretty uniform to me. Assuming this is nearly pure silicon, even without special additives to make it resistant to fuel and whatnot, it should be good. That, that should absolutely work as fuel line. I'm pretty stoked. You know what this would have cost? Let, let, let me calculate it for you. So I measured that I've made 1.7 meters roundabout of the clear silicon tube. The tube of silicon itself uh, cost about seven bucks, so uh, that's about four dollars a meter. But uh, if you consider that I only used a quarter of the tube, it's around about a dollar per meter. You know, that's pretty good considering the retail is like 17 bucks. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. This is the little fuel filter, and it fits. There we go. Awesome. Well, only time will tell if this stuff is any good. This little test piece, which I soaked in fuel, it went slightly pink because I put it in pink 98 octane fuel. Uh, but apart from that, it seems to be totally unaffected by the petrol. It still feels the same. It still has the same rubberiness and stretchiness. But there you go. Silicon fuel line. I bet you it works. Alright, CK, you've had your fun. Time for the mail. And it goes. <laughs>